Jeez. Man, fam. I, you know, I, I, I really, I really hate to be the bearer of bad news. But it's not looking for, it's not looking too good for y'all boy Rashad Jamal, man. Like, I'ma just, I'ma just, I'ma just keep it real. You know, those those who know me, man, y'all know I get busy with this spiritual work. I do divination, all kinds of things. And you know, when people, when people started hitting me up off of this, uh initially when it first popped off, and they thought I had something to do with 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 what was going on with him, I said, man. Let me let me look into this because let me see what's really going on behind the scenes from what people can see, you know, from a spiritual perspective. And then when I made the video, you know, about basically clearing my name about things that was going on, things I was being accused that I was putting work on these people, which I like I told y'all what it was with that. And so, you know. Well, I put that out. Of course, is 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 mind you, I didn't I didn't diss anybody in the video, but you get these weird motherfuckers that come on there talking shit. So I'ma just now fuck it. I'ma just have to let y'all know what's good. It don't look too good for your boy Rashad Jamal, man. It don't. As a matter of fact, and this is from a spiritual perspective, you know. Maybe he can work some magic from jail and, 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 and get himself out because with divination, nothing is ever truly final, right? You, you have options that you can kind of change the course of action if you know ahead of time. But from where I'm sitting now, it, it don't look too good for Rashad Jamal. It's looking like they are not going to give him bail. That's for one. So y'all writing these recommendation letters, I'm going to keep it a bean, family. Y'all probably wasting y'all time with them letters. Yeah, yeah, them letters not going to have much effect on what the system want to do with him, okay? I'm just, I just have to give y'all the blunt reality of it, you know, because motherfuckers is pressing me about this. Okay, well, let, let, let's, let's look into it now. Now let's really deal with the facts and let's deal with it from a spiritual perspective because y'all are so fucking spiritual. You're going to come on here and tell the voodoo man about spirituality or a tradition I grew up in. So let's now let's talk about it. It's not. And remember, I said this for motherfuckers listening. Remember, I said the shit It's not looking like he's going to get bail. It's, it's not looking like those letters are going to work. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, it's really looking like he about to get sent back to Illinois and get held there. It's really looking like he about to get sent back to Illinois and get held there. Like he's about to get extradited. Understand where I'm coming from. Because, see, I, and I know y'all probably wondering, why would he get sent back to Illinois? Did this shit happen in Georgia? Well, did it happen in Georgia? Did the incident of molestation happen in Georgia? Or did it happen in Illinois and he fled? See, this is the shit that y'all people are not putting together. Just because somebody made an incident report on a certain date, it don't mean that's the time that that thing occurred. Remember, with 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 crimes, it's statutes of limitations. Like murder, there, there's no statute of limitation on murder. So if, if somebody killed somebody forty years ago, and and somehow that comes out, you know, x amount of years later, no matter when it comes out, they can be charged with that crime. And when it comes to crimes against children. A lot of times they have long statute of limitations on them. You understand? So it, it could be something from a few years ago that come out and they charge them for it. See, y'all got to understand that. 
people just th thinking of the now. And you don't know these people. That's the crazy part about it. And that's the weird shit about it. Uh, when I looked into it spiritually and I looked at some of the content when he was explaining the situation, ah, voila, things started to make sense to me. And the picture became more clear. And, and understand that there's always three sides to every story. Your side, their side, and the truth. So when you just getting the side of the story from his mouth, you're not going to hear all the variables a part of that. You're not going to hear all the nuances. You're going to hear his side of the story. So when this man say he came into his baby mom's life and the little girl was only 14, 15, and she was already set, uh, into sex trafficking and being sex trafficked, nobody threw a red flag up to say, whoa, what's going on here? Because if she was already doing that, what age did she start? Was she being trafficked at 13, 14? Because from my understanding, Girls at that age don't just throw themselves into sex trafficking. I listen, Georgia is the number one sex trafficking state. Um, last time I checked, it always flips back and forth with Nevada. So sometimes Nevada goes into the league, sometimes Georgia takes the lead. So understand, but my time living in Georgia, which I've been in Georgia for like 10, 11 years. Um and I've done count, countless work with the community. I've dealt with uh, situations with students from different um, situations where, because me and my father, we had a nonprofit. And with that, we would go into the school systems, speak to the students about being on the right path, doing the right things in life. And when we go into these schools, Sometimes there would be groups of students that the principal would set aside for us to talk to in private, and they came from different hardships, okay? And a 13 and 14-year-old girl typically is trying to hold on to her purity, okay? So how did this little girl get into that? Because remember, this man called the little girl a slut. Mind you, this is not the girl that's accusing him. That's the youngest daughter that's doing that. The, 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 the one I'm speaking of is the one he met. She was, she was a teenager already. And he, and he called her a slut. He said she a slut like her mom. Well, brother, at, at what age did she become that? You understand me? At what age? Because at 16... At 17, your body isn't even done developing, let alone your mind. So to call a little girl a slut, that's crazy. And it makes you think. It makes you think if the mom is innocent. Like, there's so many variables in this. But spiritually, I'm going to let y'all know. It's nobody really innocent in this equation, family. Let's understand that. He said he sent her $2,000 with the situation with his son. Did you send her $2,000 for your son? Or did you send her $2,000 to keep her mouth shut? I don't know. I'm just speculating. I'm not saying that's what happened. I'm just giving y'all variables. Y'all take them as you will. But just realize this situation could not work out in his favor y'all he could he could end up in serious man because this might not work out the way y'all gonna think it's gonna work out you know it might not work out in his favor family they might find him guilty in the end because he's already charged now he have to go through the the, the trial periods is it going to be a bench trial? Is it going to be a jury? We don't know. And ultimately as well, we got to remember that there's an 11-year-old girl that could have possibly been violated. 
which from which from just looking here, it, it looks like that could be so. And, and for those for those who uh, are my clients that are tuned in that I done did readings for, y'all know that most times more never did I tell y'all something wrong. Just keep that one for real. <laughs> for my clients that's tuning in, y'all already know how that is. When I tell you something, come on now, it is what it is. That's why y'all fuck with me. Because we see what's going on, we find the solutions, and we move forward. So when I'm saying these type of things to y'all, it's coming from a certain place. You know, I do this shit. This is all I do. I, I, I Listen, when y'all was blowing my shit up like that, I said, man, I got to look into this. Because I never really looked into it before. I said, I got to look into this one. Let me see what's going on. And when I and when I looked into it, I said, "Uh oh, I don't know. This ain't looking too good for him. A lot of people gonna be disappointed, and that's just on the real. And we gotta keep in mind that there's a little girl involved, and so there have to be an element of sensitivity because she is the one saying that he did it. The little girl is the one saying that he did it." The mom isn't saying that she's seen him do it to the little girl. The little girl is saying it happened. Okay? So, it's crazy situations, man. Y'all need to pick better teeth. Because it's weird, y'all. Uh, for some reason, these motherfuckers that y'all always hoist up, they end up in these positions. I'm not saying they all did it, but somehow this shit be attached to their name. And we can't say it's because all oh, they waking people up. It's a lot of people waking people up and they don't get involved in criminal shit. Let's, let's call that what it is. It's plenty of brothers that go around waking people up and they don't get caught up in pedophilia and all this old weird ass shit. Let's call that what it is. So we're not going to just be on the blame the system shit because the system got a whole, it got, the system got, bigger people than Rashad Jamal, it can ping down. And it doesn't. So realize that where there's smoke, there's fire. And everything ain't what it seems. Y'all keep putting this on the baby mom, on the baby mom. Uh-uh, they was in a relationship together. Yeah. It's things they both know about each other. And whether she whether she acted on it in a spiteful way, it don't mean that it didn't happen. How many mothers do how many stories do you hear about a mother knowing that abuse is happening to their child and don't say nothing about it? This come on now, let's be real. It's shit's coming out now. But look at everything, all the factors involved. Like he said, she could have been spiteful when they filed the incident, but that doesn't mean the incident didn't happen. But then that just me giving y'all stuff to think about, family. You know, other than that, man, y'all keep elevating, y'all keep growing. Tune in, sign, subscribe to my channel, tune into the teachings. You know, I, I teach about indigenous practices. I stay on that. And that's what it is, family. Y'all stay safe. I sure.